All right, Nub Nation. It's a tough day in history. A lot's happened over the past week, and a lot of revelations have been brought to my attention. And due to this new information, I've decided that from this point forward, I quit riding soft tops forever. Here's why. Good morning, Nub Nation. Here we are. We just got into the car family style. Today's a big day. Maybe one of the biggest days, actually. I don't want to give away too much too soon. So right now we're driving down to Avalon. It's a neighboring beach town here in New Jersey. And we're picking up some boxes. boxes. That's all we really know right now. Just picking up some boxes. Casual. Some boxes that have been in the works for two years. Casual. So driving down to Avalon, I feel like sometimes when I travel, I come home and I don't realize what's going on, like what day it is. I forget that it's summertime at home. And we just rolled right into Avalon renters traffic. So everybody's going down right now to get into their weekly rental for the week. And this is a road, the Garden State Parkway, that we just grew up never, ever thinking there was traffic on it. There's not traffic on this road. So funny experience to just kind of just be out of it oh yeah yeah i'll come get the the boxes right now and then all of a sudden bam you're just back in real life i think i said that though just like that you said that maybe traffic today you went out it's talk. not that bad though you can talk no i just tell i just i told the nice that i think it's gonna be kind of gnarly today and as it is but we're fine it's a nice day we get to hang out with dennis we get to talk undivided attention don't don't bother him he doesn't like his photo taken I didn't want to show too much. To I know, soon, right? But I won't show it yet. The cat's out of the bag, kind of. How do you feel? craziest thing about this whole thing is yeah is this the best one right the here the fact that i picked these up in avalon yeah like the story has so many layers to it what size is that board 7 -0. that's a nice board this is really good job done the wrapped like it feels good yeah well it's a super brian brown shape these yeah there you got it i got three designs where's your board where's the one you'd say like a shredder would ride right here see ya Grab it. And this is legit your business? You ride it two inches shorter than your normal shortboard. Perfect. This is what I've been talking about all day. Wait. Well, no, this is a 5'8", right? Probably 28 or 30 volume. In order to tell this story right, we got to take it back about 13 years. I was just a kid, freshly graduated from high school. I had pretty much given up on the surfing industry. Really, I was just pretty much at that point in my life just into partying and I really wanted nothing to do with surfing at all. So at that point in time, there was a very opposite timeline happening for a guy named Brian Brown. Brian was a local shaper out of Avalon, New Jersey. He was working on a surfboard company called Double. Avalon's actually a massive reason of why I got into surfing in the first place. My dad grew up going to the beach in Avalon his entire childhood. 
My grandmother had a house right next to the beach and I used to go there as a kid and it was really my first experiences with the ocean. At that point in time, Brian had met my dad. My aunt had moved and she had a house out in Dennis Township. So my dad actually watched over the property for a period of time and we used to actually go there and party. <laughs> and there was a big outside barn and we actually built a half pipe inside the barn. But the other thing that was going on is that my dad had made an agreement with this guy Brian to allow him to use the barn to shape surfboards. So this was probably 2010. Brian is shaping out of Dennis Township. At that point, I pretty much had retired from surfing and I was just going to college. A few years later, Brian decides that he wanted to take shaping very seriously and he decided to move out to California. And he ended up at a company called Superbrand Surfboards. If you've been watching my vlog long enough, you remember that eventually, once I decided to get back into surfing and I started vlogging, I started surfing for Superbrand Surfboards. So there's a lot of deep connections in this story. And uh, how it all came together is kind of just a very beautiful thing. 2015, I purchased my first Superbrand board. By 2016, that's when I actually got sponsored and I was on the Superbrand team. And by 2017, I was really on the team because they were giving me free boards. So this whole time, Brian Brown is the guy shaping all of my Superbrand surfboards. And Super was an amazing company, if you remember it. They had some of the best priced boards and they had some of the best boards, period. Their surfboards quite literally performed. A really amazing thing that happened when I was riding for Super is that me and Brian got to build boards together. And we came up with a few different designs and those ended up just being the boards that I rode at that time in my life. While we're talking about Superbrand, I can never leave out my man, Justin Cote. He's the guy who really decided to put me on the team. So between Justin and Brian supporting me with Superbrand, it was a beautiful thing. Fast forward a few years later, and after 10 years in business, everyone dispersed, moved on to doing different things. Brian still found himself in the surfboard industry, and I still found myself in the surfing industry. And I just haven't had a hardboard sponsor for a few years now since Superbrand. Me and Brian always kept in touch, and he launched a new project with another guy named Chris called Algorithm Surfboards. And they sent me a couple boards, and I absolutely loved them. And I started to realize that Brian was in fact the driving force behind why Superbrand boards worked so well. When it's a big company like that and it's a big warehouse and there's all kinds of stuff going on, you don't really know what's happening. It could have been a factor of things making those boards work so well, but in fact, it was simply Brian. One day, Brian and I were having a phone call talking about surfboard designs shapes, this and that, and I kind of said, dude, what about the El Slamo model? What about the Barracuda, the, the experimental fish that you shaped for me a couple years ago? Like, what's going on with that board? What about a 7 -0? And fast forward about a year and a half, here we are. Ben Gravy Surfboards has officially opened its doors. Yeah, bro. <laughs> First timer. 
Which one's this? The Barrel Cuda. The Barrel Cuda. Five foot six, 34 liters. But look at the thing. Quad. Looks good. good, feels good. See how it rides. It smells good. Check out the thing, dude. <laughs> This is the Barracuda. The name comes from simply a fish that can get barreled. This is quite literally my favorite board I've ever ridden. The Barracuda has changed my rail game and allowed me to press into another dimension of speed and responsiveness. This board in a nutshell, drag free, no stress, and all enjoyment. The best fish you'll ever ride. I ride this board as a quad. You need a little bit more of it. What if you get that little air? You need some up there by the nose. You think? No. It is a, it's only a 5'6. Dude, you <laughs> Dude, I waxed my soft toss to the top. Why wouldn't yeah, I? Just wax the bottom too. <laughs> now, dude, this is actually a gravy board, but I'm not getting paid, so I stuck a pie diesel sticker on there, bro. <laughs> All right, first board of the day, the Barrel Cuda. See if it works good. See the claims. the Barracuda first. Obviously the waves aren't quite up to the standard of what this board wants, but it really wants a bullier wave because it grips the wave very well and you can fit in the pocket. However, it did everything I needed it to do. I got speed where I needed, it let me wrap and stay on rail where I wanted to, but it also let me do quick snaps and continue down the line when I wanted to. So. Uh, we need to get this thing in bigger surf for this morning. It was super fun, but we live in a place where It's all about the mid length The menace I don't think there's been a more meaningfully named surfboard in the history of our sport You know what this is all about You've been riding the Ben Gravy soft top for a few years and you're ready for some fiberglass under your feet or You're a high-level surfer who's just looking for that extra volume not only does it float like a boat, but it's extremely responsive and it can be pushed to the brink of maneuverability. The Menace. That was, that's Dennis, dude. That's what they call this one, Dennis the Menace? Yeah. We are waxing up the Menace. This board is named after my dog because it's a long dogger. <laughs> and uh, it's a menace because I'm gonna go out there and catch every single wave. So if you're sick of those guys from the valley taking all your waves, this is the board for you. And like if you're on a fun board, you can drop him on people because you're just having fun. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, <laughs> you gotta say it though. Yeah, you can yell party wave. Party wave! Party wave! Party wave. <laughs> 
Also, if you haven't noticed, this board is named after my dog, Dennis. So it's obviously the best surfboard on the market. Summertime, here we come. But also, j -Bet, here we come. Look at that guy. How can you deny the greatness? There's some opportunity out there for us. Look at that one. This is sick. We're experimenting. Seven foot? Awesome. Yeah, seven up. Twin fin? Uh, yeah, we're... He, uh, flip it over, he might have a twin on it. It has the option to go single fin. But it's oh, pretty. Dude. Oh, cool, man. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. The option for singles, I like. Dude, Big fin in the middle? Me. What? There you go. Yo, no, he did not. That was sick. This guy's checking out the Ben Gravy mid-length, dude. Dude, this is legendary. Oh, dude. <laughs> Damn, dude, that's what it's all about right there. Just get one or two more. Waves aren't even good, but the stroke's high, dude. No way, that was so legendary. Yes! Bacon, egg, and cheese? Time to rip. Time to shred, bro. <laughs> Most on brand thing. <laughs> Time for you to break out of the matrix. Yeah. You don't think I've ever rode four fins in my life. Really? Or a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I'm just saying. Well, from what I saw it. you out there, I don't know if this is the magic word. <laughs> Dude, that's the dream I can tell by his face. You Don't think that's the board? Yeah. Guess who's shredding on that other board? I told you. Will. I'm here to prove a point, dude. What's the point? Volume. Felt great. Like, you you know when you just like, the way that it just moved through the water? Yeah, it feels I glides. knew from right there it was gonna be good. Really we're weary about those extra four and a half, five liters. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how you're gonna be able to turn this boat. Yeah, but and then, Gravy was right. It's the chatter. Chopping it breaks, it, it takes down. the chatter out. Yeah, Instead yeah. of going like this, yeah. all the work, the board just goes. All right, here we are in the boardroom, AKA my shed. I'm currently holding in my hands the semi-pro model, which is the short board of the group. 
we didn't have time. Well, we had time, but we didn't have the waves really that I wanted to put this board on display. It's kind of a bomb, dude. Ah, oh. dude. Semi pro. Oh, what? Oh yeah, lofty. See how they fade back on that one? Oh yeah, the fade is where it's at. Ah. Oh. But if you remember back, I've had a prototype for this board. I've actually had two different prototypes for this board. So I'm gonna show some of that footage now to show that this board works really, really well. One of the fastest short boards I've ever ridden. This board is something that I would put in surf from two to 10 feet. So if you're the type of person that just likes to have one board and use it all the time, especially on the East Coast and probably Southern California, unless you're getting a massive swell, this board is gonna work. It's pretty much your stock standard short board, a little bit shorter, a little bit compacted with a little bit more float. Don't let that idea scare you. This is the perfect East Coast weapon unless it's double overhead and top to bottom barrels. I've taken this thing out in waves four feet over my head and it's performed great. I've surfed it in waves 12 inches tall and it's worked perfectly. We got the five fin setup, so you can do three fins. You could set up a quad. You could do five if you really wanted, or you could do 20. So you could have a lot of fun with this thing. This is the Ben Gravy Surfboards Semi Pro model. And I'm really looking forward to putting this thing on display in later vlogs. Hopefully we got a hurricane coming up and I hope you guys are enjoying the video. And I hope you guys are excited about the surfboard company for the dream. We've got three designs. We're keeping it simple. I hope everyone's as excited as I am about this venture. I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can do with this. I think it's an amazing thing that we have Brian, a New Jersey native, shaping the boards and we can kind of just put our flag in the ground as a New Jersey surfboard company. Everything's manufactured in California, but these are in fact designed, tried, tested by New Jersey surfers. I just want to say massive thank you to everyone who believes in me and everything that I've done over the past seven years since I started this vlog. And I believe that this is a beautiful new chapter. I'm going to leave all the contact information for Ben Gravy Surfboards in the comment section below. If you're a surf shop and you want to support what we're doing, feel free to hit us up and order. And if you want to custom order a board, we don't just make three designs, but these are the three most basic designs that everybody could use. So this is where we're starting. It's not limited to that. There's definitely the ability to create custom boards and I hope everyone's as stoked as I am for the dream. And I was gonna keep this one as a surprise cause he's a little hot out. This is the menace model. Hey. Cause it's, you know why? Cause it's a menace on the, it's on the waves. It's a long dog. It's a long dogger. And it's a menace in the lineup because you can take waves from everybody. But this logo is actually gonna get like four times the size and go right here. Oh, good, okay, good. Yeah. These boards are for the stokers, for the frothers, for the early morning risers, for the grinders, for the folks who just wanna do it a little differently. These boards are for the dreamers. I could 
could run away to Brigantine. Living off the land just for my means. But looking in the mirror, I see the greed. All these lucky bastards, they've got pastures by the sea. If you want to make it long, you gotta take it slow. Don't wanna end up down below. Whatever way that river runs, you gotta go with that flow. If you want to make it long, you gotta take it slow. I hope everyone realized that I was joking about quitting riding soft tots forever, but look at this behind me. The new and improved, the absolute best quiver. You got short boards, small wave little shore break, fun board twin fin, fish, retro fish, quad, twin fin, quad, tri fin. You got the fun shape, also known as the mid length. You got the wave band at 8.0. You literally have no excuse. You have to go surfing now. There's absolutely no reason to not be out in the water. For all your soft top needs, hit up wavebandit.com. For all the hardboard needs, it's bengravysurfboards.com. Thank you for everything. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart, and I'll see you next vlog for the dream.